Hi everyone, this is Vinny from North Jersey Woodcraft and I'm here today to show you a dog crate I made for a client recently uh, starting off with a basic drawing that I sent out to them just to get an idea what the measurements would be and what the overall look would be. Here I'm starting off by ripping down a sheet of 3 quarter inch maple veneer plywood uh, using my Craig ACS system. These two sheets will will be the floor of the crate and a interior wall of the crate. Next I move on to ripping down these uh, maple boards, these three quarter inch maple uh, solid hardwood boards uh, to create what will eventually be the side structure of the crate. I mean these will be the four posts uh, that make up the corner. Uh, I glue them, tack them, and then eventually I go back and fill in, uh, drill out and add a dowel. Here I'm creating a test piece for what will be the, uh, where the balusters, uh, the bars of the crate will go. Uh, I then transfer my measurements and my markings over to the individual top and bottoms. This is the first project that I've done where I've incorporated the Wen hollow chisel mortiser. Here I have my half inch bit and uh, it actually seems to be working out pretty well. I'm happy with this machine. Uh, I'll have the link for it below. I picked it up on Amazon. Uh, so if you have any questions about it, you can check out some of their links and get some of their info. I'm cutting these uh, 42 inch cast iron balusters to make what will be the bars of the crate. Uh, they're half inch. They fit snugly in the half inch mortises uh, I created and now I'm just slowly putting it together and doing a quick walk around to test the uh, what the look will be. I did add a quick shot, uh, shot of primer in between each of those before I added the bars in because uh, I know it's going to be tough to reach later so I would suggest doing that, adding a little primer before final assembly of your panels. Here I am just cutting down what will be feet for the crate. Uh, there's 60 degree angles and then it's trimmed off and I got a little two and a half inch foot. All right, what I'm doing here is actually reinforcing the door with screws. Uh, so I put together the door, uh, it's glued. Uh, now what I'm doing is just drilling out some holes and ensuring that that's gonna be a pretty solid uh, door. I'm just gonna add these extra screws here and then fill it in with uh, some dowels. Now here what I'm doing is actually cutting down what will be a half inch trim piece that's going to go around the entire crate uh, to create a little lip at the bottom. You'll see me uh, testing it out here. Uh, mitered 45 degree angles all the way around. And now it's just glue spread the glue and then tack it to our uh, crate. Using inch and a quarter brad nails. Alright, here I'm, what I'm doing is using some putty. I'm going in filling in any cracks or holes. This is going to be a painted project so I want to make sure that the finish is as smooth as possible. So I go over it multiple times with some filler and just fill in any little imperfection I see, any little uh, nail hole or any little crack or any, any little blemish that I see to try to get the finish as smooth as I can get it. For the top, we're using five quarter maple boards. I'm just ripping them down to smaller strips that I'll eventually uh, run through my jointer to get one side flat before moving on to my planer, which you will see in a second. Okay, my planer is a Wen thickness planer. I am running the boards through it. Uh, the side has already gone through a joint there, so now I'm just trying to get the top to be parallel to it. So I bring them down to thickness 
Uh, the desired thickness was just a barely above an inch and uh, that really worked out and gave this uh, top a nice thick beefy top. So now I'm just moving on to basic gluing uh, up the panel that will eventually become the top. Uh, adding some calls uh, to reduce any type of movement in the wood before tightening the clamps. If you're in need of clamps, I will have links in the description for the particular pipe clamps I used. Um, the pipe clamps I used here, I have, I have actually a couple different black pipes, different lengths. I have, I have a mix of a half inch and a three quarter inch pipe clamps. Um, they're great for tabletops. I mean, you really can't beat it for the money. I mean, it doesn't really cost nearly as much as some of those large, expensive parallel clamps. Once I get the top out of the clamps, I bring them over to my Craig ACS again, and now I'm going to cut the top down to its final size, um, give everything a nice straight edge before enjoying some coffee and getting to work sanding. And if you've sanded hard maple before, you know it is not uh, a very quick process. The finish I used on the top was a Minwax Black Gel Stain. Uh, I actually did two coats, both very light, but both meant to give it a very rich, thick, uh, dark black finish. Uh, if you've ever worked with Gel Stain and you have uh, any tips on it, I would appreciate it. Uh, some of the things I would say is uh, keep your movements quick, keep going in the same uh, direction. Uh, try to do long movements as you can as you see me doing here Short little brush strokes get left behind very easily The inside of the crate is going to have a spot for a removable tray. So what I did was I used a uh, Five-quarter maple and created a recessed space for it and it also holds the tray in place so it doesn't move around Uh, to finish it, what I'm doing here is I'm actually starting off with a good primer um, using Kills Max. Uh, and basically I'm just trying to give it a nice even coat with a roller. I wasn't that happy with the roller to be honest with you. I, uh, I, had, I didn't feel comfortable spraying it while the bars were attached to it. I didn't want to have to go back and clean up multiple... Um, you know bars over and over so I used a roller to go over the entire unit uh, so you know I then you know when you do use a roller you are going to have to go back and fine sand it so it's extra work to get a smooth enough finish which I eventually did so I did two coats of the primer I wanted it to be really thick and then I went on with two coats of the ultra bright white and here I just added uh, some slots for group for Z clips that I'll have the link for for adding the top. Since the top is going to be a hardwood maple, uh, I wanted to have it give it some room. Uh, the hardware here is just standard uh, gate hardware and latch hardware. As you can see, it came together pretty well. Uh, I was really happy with the finish. Uh, the black uh, up against the white just really looked sharp. Uh, the bars looked awesome, they're really sturdy. And down there I got the tray in, I attached that front board and has these little latches on both sides that keep the tray in place uh, with its own finished accent wood front face. So all in all, I hope you like the crate. Uh, I'm gonna have some pictures for you. I also have some images on my Instagram, a little better quality. Uh, so if you wanna check that out, uh, it's at NorthJerseyWoodCraft.com. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope it helps you maybe even think of making your own. 
And if you have any questions, please, please leave me a comment. Uh, you can check out my website at NorthJerseyWoodcraft.com. If you're interested in having one made, please check out my website at NorthJerseyWoodcraft.com. Thank you.